So guys, welcome back to more Last Epoch. Now, we are here at the end of time. And we finally have become a necromancer. We need to return to Elder Gaspar in the Council of Chambers. So that's uh, here. Everything remains same as you had seen in the video. The last video, I mean. So, without wasting any more time, we will go ahead. Um, wait, what? I see that you are still Okay, you. now it's going. That strength will be necessary. I was thinking like, wait, it's not working somehow, but okay, now it's done. So here, we need to talk to Captain Ansel and uh, we do all these things first. Let's see, let's talk to this guy. Gods be with you. Yep, Captain Ansel. By the gods, you made it back safely. With these supplies, we may be able to last just that much longer. Thank you, we are in your debt. You're welcome. Experience and gold. Nice. Gods be with you. Stay Next safe. we go here. Greetings. Uh I can undo a past action of yours for a price. Okay. What do you know about time rifts? Why from that story you told Elder Gaspar? I should be the one asking you. But yes, I'll indulge you. Throughout the history of Etera, there has been the rare tale of strange portals or travelers claiming to be from another time, often in events involving the shards of the epoch. Your story of passing through multiple on the same day is quite bizarre. Well, have there been any tales of time drifts in the precipice? What? Of course not. Do not tell me you entered, encountered one. Gods, between the void finally finding last refuge and multiple rapes in the time appearing here, this indeed seems to be the end of the world. Yet these rifts may be our salvation. Search for more of these rifts. If you can learn more about them, we may find a way to use these rifts. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. Good. And we search for other time rifts. Okay, and that's chapter 3 actually, so we'll go and talk to Gaspar first, right here. By Etera, you've done it. You've returned the shard. What about Panion? Well, unfortunately, the Void corrupted him. I see. Um, so what can we do now? Even with both of our shards, this city is lost. Our only hope lies in the Temple of Etera, where the last shard remains. By reforming the Epoch, you will be able to return to your time and take us with you. Away from this ruin, you are the only one who can help us. Yep, sure. I will find the last shard. Thank you. There is an old passage to the surface. I will dispel the rune that keeps it sealed. The Temple of Etera is far to the east. Okay. So... The Temple of Etera. Um, okay, so we are here. Last Refuge. Sheltered wood, then the surface. Okay. So we need to go here, huh? Cool, we'll do that. Uh, oh, there's a dungeon, there's a town. The Shattered Valley. I think that's like the other, um, you know, like um, time rift or something that they told just now. Okay, that's interesting. So, what do we do? I guess we just go ahead here this way I 
Yep, this should be the one. The door is sealed by a powerful rune. You recall Elder Gaspar's instructions on how to dispel the barrier. Okay, try to dispel the barrier. Okay, there you go. And off we go to the sheltered wood. Interesting. So, now that we have become a necromancer at the end of the last video, I'm really excited to see, you know, like, how I can, or how that can increase my power overall. Um, can I summon more? Yes, I can. Nice. So that's like five of them now. Awesome. Let's keep going. Oh, there's there's the platform. So this is the sheltered wood. Okay. Good to see this. Um, maybe I go down here first. Not so good. seem quite powerful I would say let's go this way and Sorry if I'm uh, sometimes really quiet while playing these games because I try to you know, concentrate as much as possible so that I don't make any mistake. Oh, that's not so bad, actually. I'll just keep it in case. Um, okay, let's see. Let me... Oh, wait a second. I think I missed this area. I didn't see this. Back here, right? Let me quickly go there and get that done. There you go. Not bad. Uh, okay, we'll do that. Pickaxe. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Hey. 
some boots. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. Now we go back. Maybe this way. Go this way. Yeah, needed to, you know, destroy these. Otherwise, it's really tough. <laughs> okay, that's good. This is done. What's this one? Oh, not bad, right? Poison on hit. Intelligence. Re lightning resistance and increased fire damage. That's actually not really bad, I would say. But still, I think it's fine. I'm, I'll be doing okay without that. Um, wait, because we are going this way, let's just keep on going. And check this place down here. Okay, let's see. I don't think there's much stuff here anyway. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out. Why not? We'll take that. Okay, there's nothing else here. We go up.
Nice. I think, you know, we're doing quite good amount of damage. And I'm really liking this. Oh, there's a lot of gold again. Uh, okay, so before we do anything else, let's uh, focus on this. There you go. Good. Nice. Uh, so I think um, okay. We just we'll just check what else we have. Okay, come here. Not good. Uh, this could be good. I don't know. Okay, stay here, stay here. Um, no, don't need that. Okay, I think that's it, right? So this way, I think that's it. Next we check this side. Oh, that's... that may be good actually. I'll get both of those. And then we go this way. Oh, hello. There you go. Not so tough, are you? Um, get this. Uh, this is fine, I think. Okay. What in the world is that? What is that? Oh my god. Am I going to... Do I have to like fight that? Well, let me just check the map. We have to go there. No problem. Did I complete everything in this map? Till now. Oh, there's something down below that I did not. Sorry about that. I think I'll just quickly go and check that out first. Although it may not be much at all. Where am I going? This again sounds like or looks like another big area. Let's see.
Okay, so there's nothing here except just a chest. Okay. Why not? But... Oh, God. This chest. It's... It's nothing. Um, but this has more minion health. So I think I would do that, right? I mean, it's not bad. Let's try that. Uh, increase spell damage, minions. Yeah, I think I'll just keep this because, you know, minions are an important part of this build. So we'll see what happens, right? So now you... Okay, so now we go back. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so, back to where we were. We just need to go ahead and, yeah, we'll see how this goes, right? There was a big giant here. Okay, we continue ahead. Is this a boss fight? This is what I want to know. Okay. Okay, so this is the next map, right? Which should be... Uh, wait, I'm here. So it should be the surface, right? Let's go there. Oh, that was really fast. Age note. This, there is a note preserved with magic. The safety of the last refuge does not extend beyond this point. Beyond the shard's light is the darkness of the void and the madness of the cults that worship it. Turn back now. If you do not, may what remains of Etera's light protect you. Oh, I see. So this is like a warning kind of thing, right? Okay, thank you very much. But I will go ahead. The cultists had a philosophy. The void transcends reality. And by embracing it, so could they. After all, this world was gone. If they devoted themselves to despair, would it welcome them? A form of hope. Desperate. Worthless in the end. Okay, I did not expect a cutscene like that, but that was really nice. Seeking the last shard. Okay, so reach the surface beyond the sheltered wood. And we need to search for the last shard here. Um, you know what, I think I would keep this for the next video because uh, things are getting really interesting, I would say. And hopefully, you know, it goes and grows, the, the lore, the story grows even further. I'm really interested and I will see, we will see how this goes. 
So, yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, you guys are the best audience ever. I'll see you in the next video.